ஹலோ ஸ்டூடெண்ட் குட் மார்னிங் ஐம் டாக்டர் தாரே ஸ்டன் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் பயோடெக்னாலஜி இஸ்லாமிக் காலேஜ் நவ் வி டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் பயோஇன்ஃபார்மேட்டிக்ஸ் இந்த டாபிக் ஆஃப் மல்டிபிள் சிக்வன்ஸ் அலைன்மெண்ட் மல்டிபிள் சிக்வன்ஸ் அலைன்மெண்ட் ஸோ ஆக்சுவலி த சிக்வன்ஸ் அலைன்மெண்ட்ஸ் is we discuss in the earlier classes now we is going to multiple sequence alignment actually the uses of multiple sequence alignment pairwise sequence alignment multiple sequence alignments is going to evolutionary relationship okay so now the multiple sequence alignment it's contain information structure relationship information on the most allegal regions and prediction of specific probe this is called as multiple sequence alignment so what is mean by multiple sequence alignment in bioinformatics the actually multiple sequence alignment msa is generally the alignment of three or more biological sequences particularly protein nucleic acids that means of similar length from the output homology can be inferred and the evolutionary relations between these sequences evolutionary sequence relations the multiple sequence alignment is a sequence alignment of three or more biological sequences generally protein dna or rna also in many cases the input set of query sequences are assumed to have an evolutionary relationship by which they share a linkage and or descended from their common ancestor common ancestor that is first one the enna na multiple sequence alignment pathi nama ipa paathirukom okay andala enna na uses irukke enna na relationship irukke abingada nam ipa multiple sequence alignment anda bioinformatics la enna use appdin paathina in the element of two or more three or more biological sequences protein sequence are known as the amino acid sequence are known as the so similar length are nichna adude output um adude homology um endha vidama inferred illama relationship purely between the two sequences multiple sequence alignment is a sequence alignment adhe mari the மூணுலேருந்து அதுக்கு மேல்பட்ட பயாலஜிக்கல் சிக்வன்ஸ் எல்லாமே வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ப்ரோட்டீனாக இருக்கலாம் டிஏன்ஏ இருக்கலாம் இல்லாட்டி ஆர்என்ஏ கூட இருக்கலாம் எல்லா சிக்வன்சஸுமே பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு இன்புட் கொடுக்கும்போது அதோடய சிக்வன்ஸை வந்து அஷ்யூம் பண்ணிக்கும் இது தான் அப்படிங்கிறத எடுத்துக்கும் அது மூலயமா எடுத்ததுனால எவ்வளோ சின்ன ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா மெயின்டைன் ஆகும் விச் தே ஷேர் ஏ லிங்கேஜ் அண்டு டிசைன் அண்ட் ஃப்ரம் தே common ancestor if a pattern in pairwise alignment and multiple sequence alignment three alignment star alignment and genetic algorithm these are all the four methods going to uh, in the bioinformatics particularly multiple sequence alignment there are two types only three alignment and star alignment okay so the slide shows that multiple sequence alignment msa is a basic tool for a sequence alignment of two or more biological sequences generally the protein dna sometimes in rna it's going to very useful for our multiple sequence line in many cases the input set of query sequences are assumed to have a 
evolutionary relations by which they share a linkage and are derived descended from the common common ancestors the building the multiple alignment by first aligning most similar parts of sequences they can next to more similar pair and so on once an alignment of two sequences has been made then he, this is fixed one thus for a set of sequences a b c d having aligned a with c and b which d the alignment of a b c d obtained comparing the alignment of a and c with that of b and d using average resource at each aligned positions the examples of multiple sequence alignment is going to the site these are all the some of the examples going to be noted down uh, that w is a all all kinds of uh, sequences are available at the same time q l p g q l p g at the same time q a p g sometimes q a q p p g also is present in multiple examples of day four sequences are present in this area okay actually the applications of msa multiple sequence alignment the detection similarities between sequences closed or directly related another one is detecting conserved regions or motif is sequences and detection of structural homologies and thus the assisting the improved prediction of secondary and tertiary structure of proteins these are all the applications of multiple sequence alignment it making patterns or profiles that can be further used to predict new sequences falling in a given family actually inferring evolutionary trees or linkages the multiple sequence alignment methods the progressive alignment method number 2 is integrative interactive refinement method these are all the two methods given our in the laboratory the progressive alignment method going to the most widely used approach to multiple sequence alignment and also the hierarchical and sometimes in tree methods developed by Pauling Hagwood and Ben Hesper in 1984 okay progressive alignment build up we have final msa multiple sequence alignment combining pairwise alignment beginning with the most similarity pair and the propaga- propagation to the most distantly related all progressive alignment methods require two stages number 1 is which the relationship between the sequences are related as a tree called gate second step in which the multiple sequence alignment and build with adding the sequences sequentially to the growing multiple sequence alignment according to the 
gave you tea. And finally, the apertures are so that relationship and black and white multiple sequence alignment, evolutionary tree construction. This is a sequence A, sequence B, sequence C, as well as sequence D. The N is present in the all stages. So, second one is not present in the lab. Actually, the sequence C is a present in K. The, and the another one is F, F, Y, Y, L minus L, L. Yes, this is present. So, these are all the potassium liquid so it is called as y plus f also the final slide is so that scoring gap panel is by the multiple sequence alignment the natural gap code and quasi like natural gap code the sequence one two and three the natural gap code the sum of the number of gaps in all pairwise combinations. The Kashmir natural gap cost, natural cost plus additional value for any gap that begins and end within the another one. This is the uh, final stages in the method. Okay. Thanks to watching. Thank you one and all.